Covering St. John's County where the sounds of hammers and saws are welcome noise to some neighborhoods in St. Augustine. Four months after Hurricane Matthew hammered our local coastline and other parts of the area, federal funding is now helping more families rebuild their homes and lives. One of the hardest hit neighborhoods was Davis Shores on Anastasia Island. Channel 4's Bakari Savage is there live to show us the signs of progress. Bakari. Tommy, here's what it looks like. You see this, a new trailer, or a trailer rather, with all the new stuff next to a dumpster with all the old stuff. The door, the broken down cardboard, cardboard the drywall over there. And look, this fridge, more debris. But you know what? This isn't the only driveway like this. Take a look. There's one right here and then another on the other side of the street. And, you know, in most neighborhoods, this would be an ice orbit around here. It's progress, progress that's been stalled. Uh, this is interior wall framing that they ripped out. Jed Swaniger, a local contractor, says this house had to be rebuilt from the inside out. They had to gut the house, gut all the drywall, redo all the new floors and everything. It was flooded Why? for about three foot. We still have people living in trailers outside of their house. Neighbor on the corner of uh, Menendez, she hopes to be back in March. Out for an afternoon stroll, Cynthia McAuliffe talked to us about how the neighborhood instantly changed and not by choice. Hurricane Matthew brought flood water in, forcing people out months after the water receded. It's as if cleaning is really just beginning. A lot of it, you're waiting on supplies. Home Depot was sold out. What? For weeks, you couldn't buy drywall, you couldn't buy studs, you couldn't buy any materials. You had to get in there like 6 o'clock in the morning just to try to find some materials to buy to, to go to work. But you can't get anything done without money. Money that most people around you need from FEMA. They've got the electricians lined up and the plumbers lined up. They're just waiting for the money so they can get going. And St. Augustine can get back to normal. St. Augustine is strong. We're coming back from this. You know, I think we should have a celebration when everybody's <laughs> back in the neighborhood because this was uh, amazing. And hopefully we'll be able to have that celebration that Cynthia was talking about. You know, that FEMA extension, that's for 180 days, but only if you already have flood insurance. Live in St. Augustine, I'm Bakari Savage, Channel 4, the local station.